One of my closest friends and I took a 9,000 mile road trip around the USA, Mexico, and Canada. This is the fourth episode in this story, so stick around. Roll that intro. Hi all, Keith here, welcome to the video. Before we go too much further, make sure you pause the video and click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. If you didn't see the last episode of this story, I'll go ahead and link it up here. Maybe go ahead and watch that one and come back to this one. But just a quick recap, in the last episode I told you about the crazy story of us almost running out of gas in the middle of the Utah desert, our scary experience with a thunderstorm in Capitol Reef National Park, and where I left you we were getting ready to take the drive down to Vegas. Now on our way to Vegas I saw something that really kind of like scared me as a Midwesterner. <laughs> Driving down the interstate into Vegas, we saw this, what appeared to be a tornado off of the distance, and I was like, oh my gosh! Turns out it was a dirt devil, and it's a pretty common thing, I guess, out in the desert, with most of them being not that dangerous, from what I hear. But you can imagine, in the moment, just, like, looking off in the distance and seeing, like, what appeared to be a pretty good-sized tornado spinning across the desert, and you're thinking, is that thing coming right for me? It was very scary but pretty cool to see. Anyway, we made it to Vegas and we stopped on the strip first and walked up and down, checking out all the sights and the casinos and stuff like that. But anyway, we just went in like, you know, the big casinos and walked through like Caesar's Palace and the Luxor and Mandalay Bay and all those awesome casinos out there. And we did check out Fremont Street too, kind of like the throwback, kind of like old Vegas, if you will. It was only like the second time I'd ever been down to Fremont Street though. And uh, you know, they have this big LED, um, screen that covers like like right down Fremont Street for several blocks and it, it's just if you haven't seen it in person it's larger than life and it's really impressive to see so we just decided we're just gonna leave town and head on out and drive on to our next destination as with the theme of this whole trip we didn't stay in any one place real long I do remember it was kind of late when we left and we drove into Henderson Nevada and I think we were going to stop at one of the casinos there, and in fact, I think we did stop at one of the casinos there and talked about getting a hotel room, but if you, <laughs> but it's been 18 years, so I can't really remember if we stayed there at the casino or if we got a, if we kept on going. The next day, we were off to the Hoover Dam. Now, there's going to be a theme in this one of larger than life places, and the Hoover Dam definitely fits this bill. If you've never been to the Hoover Dam, then you really need to go to get the perspective. Because the thing was so tall. <laughs> when you look down, you're standing up on top and you're just like looking down the thing. It is ginormous. We did hop out and walk out to like the middle of the dam and, you know, took some pictures and things like that. We even like checked in getting into the next tour. No one wander off the damn tour. And please take all the damn pictures you want. But it was like a, an hour or two later and we didn't really want to hang out there for that long. So we just hopped in the car and headed off to the Grand Canyon. Now I've been in the desert before and obviously been to Vegas a few times and driven around out there a little bit. But for some reason on this trip it really hit me like the vastness that is the American West and the desert out there. It's just like driving for hours and hours and seeing nothing but, you know, sand and dirt and, you know, hills and dunes. And it was, it was beautiful. It was very beautiful. Now, I don't know if you've ever been to the Grand Canyon, but it's one of those things that kind of like sneaks up on you. And what I mean by that is there's no like indication, at least where we're, the way we drove in, there was like no indication of what you were about to see. <laughs> Like, it was flat desert with, like, maybe some desert brush around, you know? There was nothing saying, hey, there's about to be this mile deep hole that you're about to stare at. <laughs> so, we pulled up into the parking lot, and it was in where the lodge area is right there. And I just remember walking up to the edge of that thing and looking down and being like, oh my gosh. You can hear it's like a mile deep, but until you're standing on the edge of it and like looking down, you have, your mind doesn't really register how deep that is. It was impressive. If you've never been to the Grand Canyon, it's one of those places I would highly recommend anyone take a road trip out to. 
we didn't really hike around at the Grand Canyon too much. We kind of just like stayed on the main trail and walked kind of like the rim. So we were there for a couple hours and then we decided to head on out. Anyway, we drove on down to Oregon Pike National Cactus Monument. Now, remember when I said this video is full of larger than life objects? <laughs> well, <laughs> Oregon pipe is no exception. These cactuses were huge. Like, take a look at this picture. I'm 6'1", and this thing towers over me. <laughs> it was definitely impressive to see these cactuses in real life. But we really didn't spend too much time here because we're on our way south to Mexico for some sweet beach time. Now, I had never actually driven into Mexico before. Or actually, I think at this point in time, I'd never really even been to Mexico before. But the one thing that struck me was crossing the border was weirdly easy getting into Mexico. Like there was police or border agents standing in there with machine guns and they were just sort of like waving us on into the country. <laughs> now, little old me from the Midwest here, I was in full culture shock driving on into Mexico. I mean, Obviously, all the street signs were in Spanish, and the streets, like the, instead of like miles per hour on the sign, speed limit signs, it was obviously kilometers per hour. <laughs> so, the little things were different, and then also, like, I, they, I remember there was like carts all over the road, like selling things, food, and stuff like that, and also there was like a pharmacy, or pharmacy, or whatever, on every single corner of the town. It was, uh... It was a little bit shocking to see, um, coming from little old Midwestern me. <laughs> and this was just like right across the border. We still had like almost an hour drive to get to our destination, which was Puerto Penasco, Mexico. So we drove on down and you were just out in the middle of the countryside and Phil's like talking about these stories about how people get arrested and thrown into Mexican jails and stuff like that. So we didn't want to go too fast. But I just remember we were we were pretty much doing the speed limit the entire time and people were just like flying by our cars, like zip, zip, zipping by our car, <laughs> staring at us like we were crazy people for doing the speed limit. But anyway, we did make it to Puerto Penasco and then we were looking for the beach and I don't really remember if we found it right away. I think we actually stopped to ask some people about it because we had never been to the town before. We didn't like have... Google Maps on her phone at the point at that point in time, so we were like a little bit lost. But anyway, we we ended up uh, finding someone, and they pointed us to this direction to the beach. And I just remember it was like this maybe one car length wide strip of sand, and the uh, ocean was on either side. And I just kept thinking, we're gonna totally sink into the ocean. We're gonna totally sink into the ocean. <laughs> But we made it out and at the end of it was uh, there was a whole bunch of like resorts and things like that out there. So we ended up just parking in one of the resort parking lots and then hopping out and going to the beach. I think we actually even like, <laughs> we, we wanted to get into our swimsuits but there was nowhere to change because obviously we weren't staying at the resort. So we had to change in the backseat of the car. That was fun. But luckily there was no one around so it wasn't too bad. <laughs> I will say the water was so warm and it was very tropical like and very blue and clear like you could see all the way down it was some of the nicest water i think i've ever swam in actually but we only hung out there for a few hours because we wanted to exit mexico before nightfall <laughs> so on our way back to to uh the border i remember i was driving this time and I just, like, remember seeing trucks of people with, like, in the back of the truck. There was, like, a whole bunch of people just crammed in this truck. And they had, like, machine guns. I don't know where they were going or what they were doing. But, you know, stuff like that made me a little bit nervous while I was driving. <laughs> but anyway, we did make it back through the craziness and back to the border. And um, the line getting back into the USA was quite quite lengthy let me tell you i thought we were gonna be sitting there forever but it was moving pretty fast so we it didn't take too long but anyway i'll go ahead and end the story right here because there was some craziness as is the theme with this to our border crossing that i'll save for the next video so make sure you check back next week for that crazy story
Anyway, make sure you hang out just a little bit longer for us, because there'll be some end cards with some video suggestions, and we'd love it if you'd watch another video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Click the join button down there below to find out all the benefits of becoming a member of the channel. If you want a little less commitment, but still want to support the channel, we have a coffee page. It's just a way for you to sort of drop us a virtual tip. Also below this video, you'll notice we have some merch down there. You can go ahead and check that out. Any way you choose to support the channel, we really appreciate it. Alright everyone, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace and love.